Hi, this is Joe from RS Healthy Habits, and in today's video, I want to talk to you about something that I've really had to, uh, I guess, not struggle with, but uh, come to realize that I needed to address uh, very aggressively in my life, and that is stress. I work in a very high-stress job. Um, I'm a chain retail pharmacist, and, and, and at times it is just totally brutal when you walk out of there, just how you feel. And I just want to give you two tips that I found. And these are the biggies. Now, there's many ways you can deal with stress, especially from your workplace, uh, and that you want to make sure it doesn't uh, eat you alive, which it can do and cause a lot of problems. Chronic stress, high levels of stress can lead to anxiety, which can lead to chronic anxiety, which can also lead to depression. And thank God I've been able to thwart those things by doing some things that I'm going to talk about real here. I'm just going to talk about two of these that I think are the biggies. Number one, what I found is the best way for me to deal with stress from work is to get into a moderate to vigorous exercise program at least 300 minutes a week, which is about an hour, five days a week. Now that's me. Now it could also be anaerobic activity, but I found that if I don't do that for seven days in a row, I'm not handling the stress as well. And I'm looking for other ways to deal with it or cope with it, which sometimes are not productive. So exercise, um, if you're not into that, you can start out slow by walking 150 minutes, which is like three hours uh, a week. Anything you can incorporate to get you out there doing some physical activity is going to help. Uh, there's things that when you are under a stressful situation, the whole fight or flight thing is your body pours out adrenaline, which is uh, a catecholamine. To make a long story short, when those are in abundance, it's going to cause some issues. So you want to make sure you're, you're, you're doing some exercise to kind of like burn those off, if you want to call it that, or that's, that's kind of a simplification. But typically, you want to be doing that to, to rid yourself of some of the adrenaline. So number two, what I found is when I'm gonna stress, the worst thing I could do is to have sloppy eating or not eating clean. Eating clean means having the right balance of protein, carbs, and fat, but reducing typically and not reaching for high glycemic, sugary foods, thinking that's gonna give me a lift. Now, uh, the idea of having high fatty foods too is bad because it makes you sluggish. High glycemic foods gives you that sugar high, but then you get the low uh, that I sometimes experience. But here's the other thing. Besides what I eat, it's very important when you're under a lot of stress to see uh, what you're drinking. Now, I'm talking about caffeine beverages, energy drinks. You think they're going to help you, but they can really create a lot more anxiety and make you kind of edgy. So be careful of the caffeine drinks. Be careful of the energy drinks. And of course, <laughs> well, how do most of us deal with stress is alcohol. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I'm saying most people will be excessive in the amount that they have when they're under stress. And it really does not help you in the long run because you find that you don't get restful sleep. You don't get as good REM sleep. That's the, the restful part. Uh, and also, you wake up sometimes not feeling as good as you should. <laughs> so be careful with the alcohol. So two tips. I hope they help you. They help me. And every day that I kind of get away from those, I feel the impact. So. Look forward on the next video talking to you about some other ways to reduce your stress at work.